In this video, we're going to be talking about transformation and rotation for shapes in Adobe Illustrator. And I really recommend that you go to Window and open your Transform panel. So we can be adding that panel to our bar in here. Then let's open our Transform panel and select our shape. And once you select your shape, you're going to be seeing all these options for your shape to control. And we're going to be starting by scaling our shape. We can be scaling our shape from here like that. And in order to constrain proportions for your square, you need to be pressing shift. Or even you can be switching your shape from square to rectangle like that. For horizontal rectangle or vertical rectangle. I'm going to undo that anyway. And also you can be dragging your shape from each side and corner of your bounding box. Which is highlighted in here. And you can hide that bounding box if you don't want to see it. From your view window. And you will be seeing hide bounding box. If you don't want to see these options but i really recommend that you leave them for quick access of transformation and also you will be seeing hide corner widgets which are exclusive to adobe illustrator cc versions and as you can see them in here they are these corner points or widgets and basically they will allow us to increase or decrease our corner radius so if you start dragging these widgets for instance like that you're going to be seeing that your shape is getting more rounded as you can see in here all the way to the center to make it perfect circle like this one or even you can be dragging your shape outside all the way to the corner to make it sharp square as it was and as you can see in our transform panel in here our width and height are responsible for our square size they are changing accordingly and here each one of these are responsible for a corner of our square so we can be changing our corner radius for all of them, if they are linked from here, like that. Or even for only one corner of them, if we got these values unlinked. So we're going to be controlling the upper left corner from that side to make it like that. Or even make it sharper like that. And also you can be controlling a single corner widget of these widgets by the direct select tool, which we talked about in the previous lesson. And you can be selecting this one only and move it around like that and here you go you've got only that corner to be sharp again and of course we can be controlling any point of these anchor points by deselecting the shape and then selecting any anchor point like that and then we can be dragging that maybe something like that i'm gonna undo that as well and if we want to rotate our shape we can be hovering our mouse in here on any of these corners and start rotating our shape and as you can see we're going to be seeing our rotation angle appearing in the artboard around our shape and if we press our shift key we're going to be seeing our 45 degree angles like that or 90 degrees and all these neat angles another way to rotate our shape from our rotation tool in here or from here as well we can be rotating our shape back to zero if we would like or to any of these preset angles as you can see maybe 300 degrees like that and in order to skew any shape you can do that from here we have all these preset skew angles maybe 10 degrees like that or maybe 30 and also you can be changing that direction to the other side from here minus 45 degrees maybe like that and that's also called shear in illustrator so if you hover in that part you're going to be seeing shear in that part so you're going to be using that to add some slope to your shapes for any design purpose you might be wanting to do that you can do that from here and anyway i'm going to undo that to get my shape back to zero as it was and now let's go back to our rotation options and we're going to be using our rotation tool from our toolbar this one or you can be pressing r on keyboard and you're going to be seeing that center point which is our rotation reference so if we start dragging our mouse anyway around that center point and we're going to be seeing our rotation angles and same goes on if we start pressing our shift key we're going to be seeing these neat angles again and also let me show you another hint for rotating our shape so i'm going to be reducing its size first because i'm going to be repeating that shape in our artboard and then we're going to be selecting our rotation tool again and we're going to be dragging our rotation center maybe to that part in here moving our shape around 
to anywhere around that center point or even we can be pressing the shift key for a 90 degree rotation angle or even holding the alt key and the shift key simultaneously to repeat our shape in geometric way like that and let's do that again to get a nice geometric shape by dragging our mouse first pressing alt key then shift and then dragging our shape and as you can see the shape is already snapping to 90 degree rotation angle and then we're going to be doing that again to get maybe a shape like that and by doing so you can get unlimited options of your basic shape that you started with maybe a square maybe a triangle maybe any other shape like that we can be changing our shape location either from dragging our shape around in the artboard or even using the x values and y values in here but make sure to set your reference point for instance i'm gonna set that one to upper left corner to move my shape from that part to anywhere i would like we can be setting that one maybe to 10 millimeters and y to 10 millimeters as well i'm gonna be pressing enter and now as you can see it's 10 millimeters far from the upper side and 10 millimeters far from the left side and we can be setting these values to zero from here and zero from here and as you can see we've got our shape at the edge of our artboard and we can be changing its rotation angle to make it zero like that and we're gonna be seeing that our corner is exactly on our artboard edges and this could be very helpful for you to move your objects and design elements in your design in a very precise way and let me move our shape in here maybe for a clearer view and zoom in and now if we got our scale corners deselected and I'm gonna try to make that shape even smaller I will not be able to do that as you can see I'm dragging my mouse but my shape is still the same because this is the minimum size I can get my shape to however if I select that scale corners and I start dragging inside I'm gonna having my shape while pressing shift key I'm gonna having my shape smaller to any size I would like because I've got the scale corners selected and also if I enlarge it like that I'm gonna be having the same corners however when I deselect that one and I start trying to reduce my shape it's not gonna be reduced however it can be enlarged as you can see and you can only reduce it back to where you started from and also the same goes for our stroke in here we've got our stroke on five points and if we enlarge our shape like that or even reduce its size you're gonna be seeing that our stroke point same five points and even here it's five points however when i reduce my shape like that and check this one scale strokes and effects and start enlarging our shape like that we're gonna be having our stroke enlarged to 6.4 points and the more i go the higher our stroke will be going to be scaled with our shape and that option could be very important if you're going to execute your design in a different scale from the original scale that you started on so for instance maybe you did your design on a4 paper and then you want to print the same design or the same illustration you did on one meter by 70 centimeters you're going to be having to scale your strokes and effects to have the same illustration as you originally illustrated that one so anyway i'm going to be deleting that shape and let's check our other shapes now we've got our square options covered in transform however if you're going to be selecting a shape like a triangle or polygon you're going to be seeing quite different options but if you have a polygon you can be increasing its sides from here maybe to eight or even reduce them and also can be controlling your corner radius from here or even you can be dragging your corner radius from here to make it a little bit curvy like that and also you can be controlling only one corner of these corners via the direct selection tool from here you can be selecting your shape and select your corner widget from here and start dragging this one to the outside and you're gonna be having a sharper edge in that shape and if we're trying to select our star in here 
we're gonna be seeing less options in here for the star for instance however we can be dragging our corner widgets from the direct selection tool and we're gonna be seeing our corner widgets and we can be selecting them and we can be dragging them to get our shape more curvy like that maybe a nice shape like this one or even to control only one corner of these corners we're gonna be selecting that shape from this anchor point and then we can be dragging our corner widget from here maybe to get that part curvy like that and we can be also doing the same to that anchor point selecting our corner widget and make it curvy like that and also we've got the same thing going for our triangle in here which is also a polygon in first place for selecting that shape we're going to be seeing our edges we can be increasing our sides to make it a square or maybe triangle again and also we can be changing our corner radius from here as well or even we can be dragging a single corner widget same like other shapes and get interesting shape like this one or even we can be selecting our selection tool to drag all our three heads of the triangle to get a nice and curvy triangle like that and also if you've got any shape selected you can be transforming that shape from here as well or even flip it horizontally like that or vertically like that from here and also if you don't have your transformation panel opened in here or not docked to your right side you can be showing more options from that part as well so that's it for this lesson thank you so much for your time and i'll be seeing you in next lesson